Today we're doing something easy, twice baked potatoes. It's nice if you can go to the grocery store and have all this stuff with you. Got my Himalayan pink salt, my grinder, some olive oil, and my potatoes. This is my executive producer, Zoe. Zoe. Our director, Bandit. We hand this off to my film director. This first step here is easy. You put your potatoes in olive oil, salt them a little bit. In our oven, we have set it up for 420. If your oven doesn't work because it grates down, you can do them in tin foil over a campfire. Keep that in mind. So, we're salting. And we're going into the oven. Probably 40, 45 minutes. And then after that, we'll show you some more. Don't forget to stab them with a fork so they don't blow the door off your oven. Yeah, stabbing. You can save this for later. Add it into the mix. Why not? You don't want to waste your olive oil if you've been hoarding the stuff and there's no stores to go to. So we have our organic broccoli right here. And I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to get it to the small pieces that you want. If you go at it from the side, like this, say, take all the little pieces, go in from the very top of the stem, and you're cutting it like that. And now you have a bunch of small pieces of broccoli that can cook much faster. And that is your goal. Because when the beer goes down, you won't have an oven set at 420. This is something you should keep around, too. I mean, I can't afford a gun, but I have this sharp-ass piece of bent steel that I can't take to work with. I'll use it to make my dinner. Awesome. All right, folks, let's talk about ham. We got ham right here. This is my safe way of bought ham. If uh, the supply chain ends and we can't get ham from the store, you can use whatever other protein you want. Something salty, something yummy, bacon, I don't know. So anyway, don't let me forget to tell you when I chop the broccoli, rinse it off. And when you cook the ham, make sure to have your meat thermometer, sorry, your meat thermometer, nice and high tech. Sure. Because the zombie viruses and the pandemic from the superbugs with chicken, and other beets, you know, they might kill you. So make sure to cook everything up to at least 145 degrees. And throw that in there. So with the ham today, even though my knife is bent and does not cut straight, we're going for thin slices. Something just about like that. About perfect right there. And we're going for tiny pieces. Something that's going to cook really fast, just like the broccoli inside of our potatoes. Like I said, if you don't have an oven that is set at 420, this will work just as good. Wrap it in tin foil and twice bake your potatoes. And, let's see, since I have you here right now, before the next segment, we have garlic powder. I think I'm going to go for one, two, three, four, five. Maybe six. Lucky number. We got some celery seed, we got some salt. Just a little tiny bit, a little bit of everything. Because what you got is what you're gonna eat. Hey. Alright. So the potatoes are almost done. I'm gonna continue slicing the ham. And we will show you the next step here very shortly. But look at this here. 15 seconds. Obviously a master, and you have to do what I say. Cut. So, I was been on 420 for 45 minutes. We're gonna pull our potatoes out. We had a, a little incident. If you use too much olive oil and it drips onto the bottom of the oven, then you're gonna smoke out your entire house. That Which we did. 
Yes, which we did. So, we'll leave the oven on. We're gonna cut these in half. Make sure you have your sharp dew knife. And let these cool off for a little bit because we have some work to do with them. I obviously didn't sharpen it enough. There it is. Got it. It's a good thing that there's not much feeling left in my hands. Woo! You might want to wait a few minutes before you do that. Yes. We're gonna have to pause and switch segments. So, we're back here. This is still really hot. But, ah! I don't have much feeling left in my hands. I cook for a living. I don't know if you can zoom in. This right here, this was medium well. It took about two months to heal. Then you got leopard, leopard all over the rest. Anyway. We're scraping out the potatoes and getting it into our mix you know, with the garlic powder, broccoli, and ham and potatoes. Keep going with that. Actually, we saved this olive oil from earlier. We'll add that now. Why not? Get it in the dishwasher. That's what you want to do. Because we got pans. Anyway. We're mixing all this up together. It's gonna be delicious. We have our sharp cheddar right here. Right here we have some sharp cheddar. We add it into the mix. And once those skins done peeled down, cool it down. We're gonna mix it all back up. Throw it up. I fuck that up. It would appear that we're almost ready to throw these back in. All we have left to do is melt some cheese, some ham, and potatoes, and garlic powder, and salt and pepper, all that good stuff. I'm gonna have to mash this. It's the only way. We're not gonna be able to stuff it fully unless we mash it properly. There we go. No, oh, you lost some broccoli. Nope, I found some broccoli. <laughs> All right, we are go. On our potatoes. That's what we do. Portion and stuff with care. Do not break the skins if you can help it. If you can help it. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna eat the skins anyway. Pack them full. Get all you got. Oh yeah. That's the stuff right there. Oh fuck yeah. It's a cream fridge. <laughs> get back to you in just a moment with the final touches. And once again, if you can't find ham because the stores are shut down because of EMP shockwave or any other just use your dad. He's just ready to be eaten, isn't he? Mm. Alright, so our oven set at a nice 420. We have our broccoli, ham, cheddar, garlic powder, salt, pepper, mixed with the potatoes we scooped out of these skins. We're gonna top with a little bit of cheese. I know it's messy. I feel like wasting it. And I don't know where I'm gonna find cheese when the supermarkets close and the economy collapses. But for right now, I have cheese. And it looks like I'd say 15, 20 more minutes on these, and they're gonna be ready to eat and delicious. Even if. Oh. 
So, we're ready. It's been on 420 for about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, I will pull these out. Looks like they're ready to eat to me. So here we go. So, make sure we take our thermometer, make sure it's at least at 145. Otherwise, the zombie apocalypse and the superbugs may occur. Ooh, 166, that's a lucky number. There we go. So we're all set and ready to go. We probably won't film you What I was going to say at the end there was we're not going to film ourselves eating because you don't want to see that. And plus, if you couldn't tell, I was getting progressively drunker throughout that video. But it was Saturday night. I worked all day. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to tighten it up, come out with some more videos, uh, get down into the garden. I'm hoping to get into some how-tos on pressure cooking and uh, storing your own food, which should be fun. So thanks for watching if you made it this far. Uh, have a great day.